Hey, what's up, guys? We're well, back here, and today we're trying a deck that I, I personally hate. Um, I haven't played it yet this season, um, and I also haven't played it since Snowfall Guardian got nerfed. But we are playing Renathal, um, uh, Shaman. I couldn't think of the word Shaman there for a second. Um, so yeah, we're playing Renathal Shaman. I can already tell by just by looking at this deck that I'm not the biggest fan. Uh, you guys know my opinion on playing multiple Murlocs in the list. You know my opinion on some of these cards just... I mean, some of these cards are very interesting. But this list apparently went... I think it was 12-0 and 0 is what I saw um, in the Heroic Tavern Brawl that is this week. So, I said fuck it. If it's able to put up numbers like that, I guess I should try it. See if I like it. Worst sounds worse, I don't like it, right? But, um, yeah. I, I, it's something I'm just gonna have to see. So, yeah, anyways, with that being said, how about we keep the first game and let's see how it goes. All right, guys. Yeah, I'll see you guys all in the first game. All right. First matchup. Uh, what's the name of this class? Uh, Rogue. I'm going to play this like I'm playing normal Shadow Walk, so I'm going to keep the Toxfin just in case we hit Firemance or Flurg. It also lowers the amount of Murlocs in our deck. There are so many of them. Uh, one sec. I'm going to mute my mic while I open up my beverage. All right. Speaking of beverages, I hope you guys have your own. I'm currently drinking me a nice Pepsi. So, yeah. Uh, if it's aggro, this hand is like super fucking awkward. I don't, I don't understand how this deck can also get away with not playing Dirty Rat. In this meta. I don't know. It's weird to me. Oh, I feel so far behind already, and it's turn two. <laughs> uh, how do I beat this? Uh, the Fire Mentor Flurg is the only card I can see that isn't out. That that may have been the worst draw on my deck. Maybe that was definitely not a good draw. Fuck, we're playing double ice fishing. I still can't hit ice fishing, so if my Primal Engineers. Life is nothing but pain. And the thing is, right, I'm not even guaranteed if I hit an Ice Fishing to wipe his board, which is the part I hate. I That's the part I hate about this deck, is nothing is guaranteed. Bevel Toxin's not exactly what I wanted to see. Taunt, Taunt is pretty good here. Man, with the nerf to Snowfall, I kind of wish he was one mana cheaper. If he was at five with the nerf, I think it would be fine. I think as it stands now, it's pretty bad. Don't have a swappy, please. It's just as bad. Oh, he actually had both. Oh my fucking god. Okay, I need to hit exactly Firemancer or Flurg to have any form of chance of winning this game. That's not Firemance or Flurg. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I need to top deck, I need to top deck exactly Firemance or Flurg to have any form of a chance of winning the game. Even then, the worst part is it's not even guaranteed. I hit, I hit. If not, I lose. Oh, I lose. I've lost. Yeah, I'm just dead. Oh. I'm not saying that we would have been better off playing just regular Shadow Walk Shaman, but I'm pretty sure we would have been better off playing regular Shadow Walk. Like, I don't see how this deck ever, beat, ever beats aggro. <sighs> oh well, let's skip the next one. Alright. Potentially this matchup we can win. Potentially. Um That's if it's not I have to keep this in case it's aggro. Oh my god, this is so like this card does nothing. What am I gonna play this? This is good on exactly five if I have also mutinous. 
Or else this card just feels like hot trash. Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. This whole deck as a whole feels kind of shitty. I kind of feel like I need to draw Sire. Uh, what is it? It's not Mechathune. I guess it could be Mechathune. There are some Renathal Mechathune lists. I think they're bad, but they do exist. Uh, that's not a good card. That's fine. But yeah, I don't understand how this deck can also get away without playing... There's so many cards I feel like should just be in this deck. Right? I need to play this. It is... Agra. Or it's mid-range. Slow that here. Rather play this. It actually deals with the minion instead of just temporarily dealing with it. You know? I much prefer that. And then with the double uh, wind chills in hand. Also, this plays like... See, there's so many things that I don't agree with in this list. Because this is not a list that can go infinite. If you go infinite, you'll eventually lose the game to sleep breaker Because you're not playing Skulking Geist. So... You'll eventually just lose. Unless, I guess, you can play so many Shadow Walks in one turn with this. But, I don't know. Feel, it looks, seems kind of weak, man. Oh, look, I drew <laughs> useless and then useless. I played a five mana... Just, Eight seven that does nothing because it dies and then drew me one card. Playing five out draw card and kill a four three seems kind of bad. Oh man, there's just so much negative to say about this deck with so little positive. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Killing this though is 100% the right choice over killing this. Again, this gives me nothing. Unless so you can kill both. I'd say killing this was much more important. I would have held on. Okay, no, he's able to kill both. I still think I would have... Eh, maybe not, but... This card is hot trash. The thing is, I need to play this before I play... Like, I need to play this and this before I play this. Yeah. I guess with this, you're always putting away the... You're not always putting away the things, though. That's my problem. I don't know. This seems really bad in the deck. I just think this card is bad in general. People play it so much, and I think overall this is like a mediocre card at best. About to get mutinist. Please don't hit. Okay, that's not great, but it's not the worst. Like, I can still win even though I lost that. I think it's higher odds that he has Zola. Sorry. Ah, oh, shift. Frozen first. Actually punished. I guess I can do that. Um, hmm. I want to keep as many things in hand to try and limit his chances at actually eating Grumble. Um, I'm, hopefully he's just going to slam some amount of giants here. If he slams some amount of giants, I'm super fine with that. Kinda. Need him also to kill these. Is the annoying part. I wish this buffed this instead of this. Anything but Grumble? I hate this game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You rolled the one and eight. I've exactly Brewmaster to get it back in my entire deck because he also ate my Zola. Unfortunate. You have your second. Does this hit second broomstick? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. I just have to go for it. 
and then hope he doesn't have an answer. I'm gonna counter a spell. Let's hope it's good enough. Hopefully countering the next spell he plays is good enough to prevent him from board wiping me. I don't think it is going to be, but I mean, I can hope, right? Uh, this game becomes so much harder without... Uh, Grumble. I mean, it's still winnable because Sire is Sire. And then this could eventually just hit, like... He wipes me right now. This is... 12. It's almost like an OTK by himself. I'm just hoping that he didn't have a decent way to board wipe. With, like, he needs two spells in order to board wipe. He needs something into a Shadow Flame here. Or, yeah. He just needs two spells. If he just has a taunt, he loses. Okay, I can beat that. Eat that fairly easily. Youthful Brewmaster would be pretty nice. I draw Brewmaster one time. That's not a Brewmaster. Hmm. do that I guess it's not good this puts him down to two so if he doesn't develop any more minions I mean this has high odds of just killing him this is my mentality here And to be fair, if he's playing a board wipe, he's also most likely killing off his Molten Giants is my advantage. Um, and if he's also killing off his Molten Giants, my Sire does even better. Because it just kills him. Just straight up kills him. Hit a Molten Giant, please. Don't hit my own guy. It's not ideal. 13. I mean, it either puts him at two. His worst case scenario is one and one. I think I just have to slam Sire, right? There's no world in which not slamming Sire is correct. There is, actually. I have to go for... I have to go for the slightly better play. My mentality here is if he can uh, defile as a clean board wipe. He's not playing Reno at least, actually. I don't actually have to worry about that. Oh, my brain hurts. Defile is okay, depending what else he plays. Because this is 19. So as long as what he plays doesn't have 9 health, that's fine. Or I guess it can have not more than 9 health. Or else it's, again, down to RNG. And I didn't want to risk the chance where he's at 1 and his Molten Giant's at 1. And I just have a Sire on board. Like, I feel like that's a surefire way to lose. Although I do need to slam this Denathria soon. Because just some amount of Shutter Walk. Like, just Shutter Walk basically after that should be enough to win the game. He's basically out of healing. Defile would be the worst card to see. As I see a Defile. 
Okay. It's not what I wanted. It's only four. Oh, he, I was about to say he has a kill. I want to just slam this. This is just a board wipe, right? I mean, actually, no. Worst case scenario, it's not a board wipe and I cry, but... I'm just going for this. I didn't kill him. At least it killed to kill, which is what I was worried about. Oh, I should have Finley though. Like, I wanted the Finley here, but Finleying here was super bad. Now I'm going to lose the Abyssal Curses. Which kind of feels bad. It's fine, I think. Hmm. He has so many of those in his fucking deck. Well, that's... Could just be good enough, right? And I got my sire back. Yay! Did the Murlocs feel like they did anything special here? Not really. I feel like this would have just been a much more straightforward game if I wasn't playing the Murlocs. The Murlocs just make everything feel more complicated. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we still have time for at least one more game, so let's queue it up. Alright. A Druid. Depending on what Druid we're playing against, this is either fine or awful. There is no in-between in the Drew matchup. It's either fine or it's awful. Uh, I don't want Devolve. I guess I'll keep Windchill. I can keep Windchill here just as a way to draw an additional card. It just cycles and it doesn't put a card back in my deck. So it technically increases my odds at drawing everything. Cards we're looking for are... Cards where the big one we're looking for is the Ashen Elemental. This card is really, really good against Druid. Like, actually absurdly good against Druid. Especially with Shudder. Okay, perfect. That was the best totem to hit. I don't want a hero power basically for the rest of the game. And hitting uh, that totem is, like, ideal. Because it's going to make my this thing a 3-3. Three, three. Um, actually, if he wants to kill it... I guess I can totem one more time. Ideally hit healing or taunt. That was the only one I didn't want to hit. Oh, there's Shudder. That was clearly the only one I didn't want to hit. If I would have hit healing or taunt, he couldn't kill this one. Um, at least now. Hitting the 1-1 one -one was the only one where he can actually just kill it, and I missed on an additional buff. Feels bad. I guess I have to go for some mutinous angle this game. Herald into ice fishing into... Uh, I guess I don't even need to do it anymore. In that order. I missed on the ice fishing, so it's fine. But I was going to say, like, this into ice fishing into this into, like, Scargill mutes is, like, one out. Oh, I don't even need it for mutinous anymore. What a lovely thing. Okay. It's five, I have one additional mana. The only reason he ever does that here is if he has a wind cone in hand. I wish I had a way to copy this mutinous that I was able to play. I'm gonna get nourished into fire into Flurg's thing into poison seeds, and I'm gonna cry. 
Okay, that's not the card I thought it was going to be. He's still technically dead to Mutinous, although he has one more mana. Oh. oh, no, he has two more mana. There's the Flurgs. Oh, he just has scales. Yep. Imagine if he would have missed on scales, seeing that he had 15 cards left in his deck. And he already had the one of Ultimate Infestation. Yeah, okay, there is zero way I can win this game. Actually, I shouldn't say zero way. Scargill could still, or Gurlock could still technically be a board wipe. Unless he has lethal from hand. I don't think he should, but I guess he technically could still have lethal from hand. Do you have a Malagos in there? I ate his Alex, which is why I wasn't sure if he would be able to still wipe or still kill me from hand here. But I am kind of concerned now. I mean, he hit. Tried my best. I would have had to hit Sire. If I would have hit Sire, oh no, I was still dead there. You had to hit Floops. I think Floops might be the most broken card in the game, by the way. Just in general, I think it's Floops. I don't think Illuminate, Neptalon, Shadow Essence. Uh, Swordfish, Shutterwalk, any of those cards have anything to do with, like, compared to Floop. Floop is so much mana for so little mana. It's insane. It reminds me a lot of OG Innervate. But better. Man, I wish we had to Innervate back. Anyways, though, we still have time for one more game, so hopefully we can get at least one more dub. Alright, another Warlock. Um, I hate this card so fucking much. I'm gonna go like this. I do like keeping Snowfall against Warlock. It's a card that can often save you more than you'd think. Um, so I I personally recommend keeping it, but I can see why why some people are like that's dumb. This card does nothing most of the time. The problem is the games where it does do something, like in this one most likely. It's really fucking good. It's never just an okay card. It's always either insanely broken or just really fucking good. Like, there's no other way for me to really put it. In my opinion, there's no in between. It's either yes or no, and the answer often is this card is dumb. Having this on three is insane, if I'm being honest. Or being able to play that next turn is just insane. So I can do that plus wind chill, whatever he plays. Feels really good. No hysteria? Okay, that's not hysteria. That's fine. That's fine. It's looking like it's a. Oh, it's an aggro deck. Interesting. See? Told you you want to keep a. Uh... What's his face? Houndfish. That, that. Kind of missed on the good ones, which kind of sucks. That is a good one, though. In this position, that's a really good one. I wanted to freeze that here mostly for the piece of card draw, but also just because I think it was the right choice. Unless he had the second deal through damage spell, Jesus Christ. Unfortunate. Really? Oh, that's fine, I guess. Do you want to do that or just slam mutinous? Potentially have a 12-12. I'm going to go with potentially having a 12-12 here. I think it's slightly better. Okay, not quite a 12-12, but... 11-8, I'll take it. And I no longer have to worry about Giga Finn. Just need to hope for no Plague of Flames. No Plague of Flames means I might just win the game off this thing. Off Mutinous being a very fair and balanced Hearthstone card. I love the design of Mutinous. I know that there's a lot of people that hate the whole um disruption like i read an entire thread today uh on reddit about people saying like oh disruption is killing hearthstone it makes no sense all these disruption cards are too fucking good 
Sorry, but if you think Theothar is too good for Wild, you've clearly not played the format, in my opinion. I think Theothar is a very balanced card currently in Wild. I will die on that hill. It does nothing oppressive, in my opinion. It's just your only real answer to combo is a control deck. And I believe that every style of deck should have an answer for every other style of deck. Control has, you know, Theothar to try and counter ag or combo and has. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh, that's less fine. Oh, that's really not fine. I lied when I said this was fine. Double toxin is toxic. Um, I guess it's just this. Give one of them poisonous. Copy it. Make a board wipe, I guess. <laughs> That's one way to wipe a board, I guess. Oh, yeah. I could have also slammed this here, but I kind of want to hold on to this. I kind of want to hold on to all the minions in my hand. Prevent this from getting eaten by mutinous. Ideally, hits this or this. Yeah, that's, that was best case scenario. Actually, just best case scenario. I want this to survive so I can toxfin it and then brew, brewmaster back my toxfin. I'm gonna freeze this first. My searching is fairly good. I have a couple more locks left so I can slam this and be fine. Uh, so I have three left. The worst one in the deck, and one of the worst ones ever printed, in my opinion. So we've killed two giants, mutinous, or mutinous is still on the board, but two giants, gigafin. Alright. Ideally, we find like Grumble as a top deck that I think would be like best case. Oh my god, he's actually so close to dead. What the fuck? He's actually really, really close to dead. Um, Grumble would still be the best draw on my deck, and it's not even really close. Grumble says we win the game. I'm 99% sure Grumble actually just says the words, you win the game on it, somehow. I didn't quite realize that Hearthstone card said that, but... Um... I'll do this here. I guess I should be careful because he could very easily be playing rat, but he can't dig. This kind of says no to digging. Hero powering taking four when you're this slow and I have this much damage on board is terrifying for him. That's fine. What was the worst draw on my deck? Just want to grumble, man. Okay, I'm just gonna burn this now. He only has one giant left in his normal deck. One giant, one gold share and all. And I still have more Murloc, so if he can't kill this, he's still dead. Um... It's fine, my whole hand is kind of trash. Take whatever the fuck you want. I guess as he's taking this. Oh, I guess healing rain is actually pretty good for him, huh? I didn't quite think that healing rain would actually do anything for him, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's do this. Rumble's fairly good. Seven. This is fine. 
You have four cards basically to kill me. I could have held on to this and tried to go for like grumbling twin fins, but I think I'm I think I'm better off grumbling what I had there. Give me another piece of card draw to hit this ice fishing that I don't need, but just to get it out of my deck basically. I get closer to getting I understand that uh, what's his face is gonna basically do nothing there. Uh Sire. I would have drawn him way too fucking late. Well, it's new in the shop. Sorry for getting distracted. But yeah, Sire would have done basically nothing there because I drew him on turn a million. Uh, I would have had to hit him like five turns earlier than that for him to actually do anything. Um, but yeah, no, overall, I think I played that game really, really well. Even though, like, in my opinion, that's one of the less good matchups for us. Um, just because they're so explosive. I think all the explosive matchups are really, really bad for us. Uh, for, well, for the free shaman style of deck. Shadow Walk Shaman, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But, yeah. And that's, again, that's my opinion. Am I ever going to hit a legendary out of one of these packs? I don't even know if I've ever hit a legendary out of these packs. Old Gods. Grand Tournament. Man, it's so cool getting all these cards I don't have. That's something I get really tired of when I'm opening a new set. Is I get all the cart like all the commons and rares like on day one, and then I don't have anything new to open. Do I officially have every single common in the game? I believe I officially now have every single common in Hearthstone. I could be wrong, but I think that's what that means. We'll see tomorrow if we open um we should open another pack. Yeah, because we should finish some amount of these up. Uh, so yeah, we'll open another pack tomorrow. We'll see if we open, if we have all the commons in the game. That'd be kind of cool. Next would be rares, then epics, then legendaries. Kind of hype for that. Anyways, though, with all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Where hopefully, we can get some more dubs. All right, guys. Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.